Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dominic with Silver Screening Reviews, and this is Game of Thrones, Episode 3, uh, The Sword in the Darkness, Part 2. Last time we left off, we were Garrett Tuttle, uh, former squire, right? Squire? To uh, House Forester, who's now off the wall because we killed people, and that's what happens. We're basically in a giant penal colony, and we just took our vows because we're a ranger on the Night's Watch. So that's what we're going to be doing, but we have a visitor. So, uh, in between episodes, I went and uh, made myself a new soda, some strawberries, and poured myself another glass of, uh, not glass, shot of uh, liquor, Captain Morgan's, for anybody who's wondering. And we're going to get started, but we're going to cheers, guys, to some great gaming, great storytelling, all that good jazz, because I'm excited for some Game of Thrones. So, three, two, one. What the hell we're doing here? Oh. Let's go talk to the blacksmith, right? Before we talk to our visitor. Jon Snow's right about Mantrader. We're going to need all the weapons we can make. What was the point of that? Okay, whatever. Don't forget the practice swords. Ah. Duncan, Duncan! Got it! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. What brings you here? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. Hell yeah. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. Damn right That's I am. Good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forester is nothing if not resilient. Please tell me there's a plan. But we can't let them get away with this. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command, spoken to you in confidence. It was a secret he only wanted you to hear. He told you the North Grove must never be lost. Do you know something? I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes, almost an obsession, a vital secret he protected at all costs. What do you think, Uncle? Is it real? I have no doubt. It's clear Lord Forrester spent a great deal of time studying the North Grove. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself. Somewhere on the other side of the wall. Of course. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a Tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind. And strike out on your own. Mm, this is no see. small request I make. I know yeah. that. Isn't there some other way? Where I don't have we to just take my vows. If there was, I wouldn't ask this of you. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. Strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. Um, okay. Uh. Hear the werewoods whisper. Okay. I used to be frightened of werewood trees. But before I was a man grown, I swear, 
I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... I don't... what? Yeah, examine. Maybe there's something Look, inside of it. There's a clasp. Oh, so it's it a locket. Stolen. Okay. Well, fucking open it then. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewolf. That's but weird. Why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Hmm. Okay. What's it wanted me to do? Let's let's uh. Yeah. Is that right? A perfect fit. There we go. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Puzzle time. I don't think this is right. I'm gonna pick you up. I don't think that's where you go. Put you here. Wait. That looks more right. Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. Let's rotate, Let's see what it does. It's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. The werewood's mouth. Uncle, whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. Well, I'll I try think we'll also. stick with this. It's no small task. I'm still just a squire. I know what I'm asking of you. But I know you're up to the challenge. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett. I don't know. They're probably like little... Shards mm. or something. Why so? Like a weapon. I hope to never lift well, one of those again. Your piss is like any other liquid, okay. I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly ale. And if it froze on the way down the wall. I like just hitting square and just cool auto things. walking, Blazes. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. So no stranger. Said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He's Castellan to House Forester. They sell ironwood to the builders. So you were just talking about lumber all that time? It yep. looked like he gave you something. I mean, what? It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. We're gonna need to protect that map because that dude's gonna pickpocket us like you wouldn't fucking believe. Just like he did with Finn and his knife. There are so I'm many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know. We're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. Sarah, it will be Marjorie's day, not ours. I... I know. I... I didn't mean anything by it. I've been meaning to say... What I told you about my family, it means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. 
If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. I'm counting on that. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. Oh. Here's our little dude. Looking as built. No, go to him. What are you doing here? I oh, know I shouldn't be here, but we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you all right? I I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about shh. They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. They don't have any proof he's dead, do they? They found blood on the garden stones. Damn on it. The fountain. But they can't know it's his. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this... I, I still have his knife. Oh, oh no. Was, Just was that right? Keep it hidden and Should clean the blood off it. I don't time. think anybody else saw me. Just stay out of sight. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank Tom you, Riddle? Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, truly, it's nothing, Sarah. He's a friend. Really? Is that so? Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well... First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have there. Okay. That works, I suppose. I've given musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. Your Grace, we must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, the then... The king's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She said she'd serve the king, yet now she puts your needs first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. You bitch. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, 
But I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. <laughs> what did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? Well... What you do reflects on me. We only shared some wine, my lady. Drinking wine with Tyrion Lannister. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. No oh, shit. Why are you making trouble for me? Um. It was just a cup of wine. Nothing more. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Okay, that went... I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. That sucks. I wanted to stay on Marjorie's good side, but it seems I have not done so. I don't know if I was ever going to be able to stay on her side, but we'll see how we're going. Oh, we're in Ironroth. Okay. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower in our own house. Don't Fuck worry, Talia. I'll deal with them. Hurry. I'll check on Mother. Are we going to be forced to hobble there? The hell was that all about? That was a really random cutscene, I guess. Really? What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. What the hell are you lighting on fire? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? Says Griff. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Nah, I'm good. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you. Hey! Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Get your men out of my sight. This is absurd. That sounds like the old Roderick. Beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. Like fuck. You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And <laughs> I'm more, fucking telling you. You will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. 
You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... You're mad, Griff. This is my house and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. Guys, I don't care what's going to happen. We're not no. letting this happen. You know better than that. Oh, God damn it. You know Roger. where we'll be. This is outrageous. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Really? There was no choice there, basically. That was a decision without merit. Garrisons, nice. I, I tried, guys. <laughs> I did my best to prevent that from happening, and it was going to happen regardless. That much was made very, very clear. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people if it drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. Whether he rides out on horseback or ends up in the ground, Griff Whiter won't be here long. I'll see to it. Good. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. Also a fair point. Very we need to look map. at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. But it's Griff not a snake anymore. Head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. But we, have we to can't let them something. stay here, though. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. So many important choices. Do we go after... Um, let's see. Okay, let's think this out for a sec. Expelling Griff would get Ryan killed. Because he would get back to high point before we could do anything. However, if we could save Ryan, get back to Iron Ross, and then expel Griff, they no longer have leverage. Get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the White Hills head on. Exactly. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. If you think I'm giving up on Ironrath, you're wrong. By keeping this family together, Ironrath will stand. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then it's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We Storm lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher well, Mira's fucking useless at this Essos point. With a company of hardened sellsorts. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. 
which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. And yeah, we don't have another option here. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. There we go. Everybody's busy. I like it. Mother. Okay, then. My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet, away from her father's guards. I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Arrange a meeting. I really she couldn't has to agree say more. May prove useful. I believe she can be trusted, but best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. And this is how we die. Good. Or get laid. One of the other. things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point. God damn when it. When the time comes. Which means I have to get this right, otherwise she's totally gonna fuck us over later. Such nonsense. And I'm thinking, like, what happens if I didn't secure the patrol vault from, um... Oh god, what the hell is her name? I've already forgotten the, uh... My bride to be the one who we uh we're gonna get the army from after we marry her, but I do not know at the moment. Doesn't matter, I suppose. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers, they're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira. A word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. I don't think I have a choice. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although it's not so much she doesn't I like you. I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. Fuck yes! A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. I'm sure I'll think of something. Fair enough. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Today of all days, you know I didn't want you talking to him. He wanted to You're talk to me. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. The Game of Thrones? Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... I'll deal with you after the wedding. Come with me, Sarah. Ah, you bitch. Get out of my face. This episode, I wonder if it's just my download or what, but this episode's getting kind of, uh, getting kind of glitchy. Oh, we're going to go ahead and pause. It looked like we were back at the wall, but like I said, guys, we're going to go ahead and call this episode quits. Again, this is Dominic with Silver Screen Reviews, and thank you for watching this episode of Game of Thrones, episode three, The Sword in the Darkness. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Let's me know you appreciate the content and you want more of it, all the good jazz. If you have any comments, criticism, suggestions, critiques, put it down in the comments section below. I love hearing from you guys. Otherwise, have a good night, and I will see you in the next part.